Welcome to LearnComputerScienceOnline.com, and in this video, we are going to discuss, what is Entity Relationship Diagram, different components of, Entity Relationship Diagram, and, how it is used, in the Database Management System, DBMS. We will also discuss in detail, various symbols used, in the ER Diagram, its meaning, concept of entity, relationship, cardinality, and, other related important topics. Let us first start with, a quick introduction, to the ER model. The Entity Relationship Diagram, ERD, is a graphical representation of the, database structure. The Entity Relationship Diagram, is also alternately referred to as, ER model, or, ER diagram. In simple words, the Entity Relationship Diagram, is a blueprint, that can be used, to create a database, using, a specific database management system, RDBMS. We can compare this, with architectural drawings. An architect create blueprints, before building a house. Similarly, the database designers create, different types of data models, or, database blueprints, to visualize, the database structure. During the database design stage, the database designers prepare, various data models, to visualize, the database structure. The ER model, is one of the data model, called as, the conceptual data model, used by the database designers, to describe, the database structure. Okay let us now understand, different components of, entity relationship diagram. The ER model, consists of, four major components. These components are, first, the entity, second, the attributes, third, the relationships, and, the fourth, the cardinality. Let us start with, the first concept of, entity, in the database design. In DBMS world, the database entity, is represented by, a table. During the database design process, the first task for the database designers, is to identify various objects, or, business concepts, that needs to be represented, into the database. The entities are, either physical objects, or, business concepts, that helps to uniquely describe, that particular object, or, a business concept. Let us try to understand, the concept of an entity, with few examples. For example, if we are designing a database, for a college, then, the entities, that needs to be represented, into the college database, would include, first, the student, second, the teacher, third the courses, fourth, the departments, fifth, the department heads, and, other such similar entities. Similarly, if we are designing a database, for a company, then, the entities, that needs to be represented, into the company database, would include first, an employee, second, the department, third, employee salary, fourth, the management, fifth, the inventory, and, other such similar entities. As you can notice, in the above two examples, some of these entities have, physical existence, whereas, some entities are merely, business concepts. The business concept, such as, the bank account, loans given by the banks, educational courses, are also examples of valid entity. Such conceptual entities, are represented, by an entity, in the database design, that, we wish to record, the information about, into the database. The entity, is shown, in the ER diagram, as a rectangle shape. And the relationship, between the two entities, is indicated by, a diamond shape. The ER diagram use, different types of entities. The entity types, used in the ER diagram, include, 1. Strong entity, 2. Weak entity, 3. Tangible entity, 4. Conceptual, or, intangible entity, let me explain, the concept of strong entity. An entity, is said to be a strong entity, when, it has a key attribute, that is, prime attribute, that can uniquely identify, each instance of an entity. For example, the employee ID attribute, for an employee entity, and similarly, the student ID attribute, for the, student entity, are examples of the strong entity. In ER diagram, the strong entity is shown by a single line rectangle. The second type is, weak entity. An entity, is said to be a weak entity, when, it does not have, 
a key attribute that is prime attribute that can uniquely identify each instance of an entity. The weak entity is dependent upon other strong entity for its existence into the database schema. For example, the employee entity is a strong entity, whereas the employee address, employee nominee, are examples of the weak entities because their existence depends upon the employee entity. In ER diagram, the weak entity is shown by a single double rectangle. The third entity type is tangible entity. An entity is said to be a tangible entity when it has a physical existence that can be recorded in terms of its attributes. The fourth entity type is conceptual entity. An entity, such as bank account, mortgage loan, are said to be a conceptual or intangible entity when it does not have a physical existence but it is a valid business concept that can be recorded in terms of its attributes. Okay, let us now move on to discuss the second component of the ER diagram and that is the concept of an attribute. In DBMS world, the database entity is represented into the database in terms of its attributes. An entity attributes are used to describe the various properties of an entity. An entity can have a single or many attributes that can be recorded into the database with the help of its attributes. The entity can have different types of attributes. In RDBMS, a table represents an entity and the table columns represent the attributes. Let us discuss few simple examples to understand the meaning of an attributes in the context of database design. For example, the student entity can be recorded into the database using its attributes, such as the student ID, first name of the student, last name of the student, date of birth, the course title, enrolled by the student, and other such attributes. Similarly, the mobile handset entity can be recorded into the database using its attributes, such as the mobile model number, the stock ID, the brand name, the model type, the date of purchase, and other such attributes. In ER model, the attributes of an entity are indicated by an oval shape connected to the entity rectangle by a straight line. Different types of attributes are indicated differently into the ER diagram. Depending upon the property of the attribute values, different types of attributes are used in the database design. The different types of attributes include 1. Prime attribute, 2. Non-prime attribute, 3. Simple attribute, 4. Composite attribute, 5. Derived attribute, 6. Single value attribute, 7. Multi valued attribute. The different types of attributes are shown in the ER diagram using various variations of an oval shape. The prime attribute can function as a primary key that can uniquely identify each record in the relational table. In ER diagram, the prime attribute is shown by a underline in the oval shape. The composite attribute, such as student name, can consist of two attributes. For example, the first name attribute, and the last name attribute. The derived attribute, such as student age attribute, is calculated, and, its value, depends upon, the date of birth attribute. The derived attribute, is not stored, into the database. In ER diagram, the derived attribute, is shown by, a dotted line, oval shape. The multi-valued attribute, such as student mobile number, can have multiple values. For example, the student can have more than one mobile number. In ER diagram, the multi-valued attribute is shown by a double line oval shape. So far, we have discussed the concept of database entities and its attributes. Let us now move on to discuss the third important component of the ER diagram, and, that is, the concept of relationship between the entities. Let us first define the concept of a relationship. 
the relationship between the two entities is defined as an association through which the two entities are logically related to each other. For example, the student entity and the course entity are related to each other when the student joins the course. In ER model, the relationship between the two entities is indicated by a diamond shape connected to the entity rectangles by straight line on either side. However, in relational model, the relationship between the two entities, represented by respective tables, is defined by creating a primary key and foreign key constraints for each table. Let us now discuss the fourth and the final component of the ER diagram, and that is the concept of cardinality, cardinality ratio, and the mapping of cardinalities. In ER model, a relationship between the two, or, more entities, is an association, among the, entity instances, of one, or, more instances of, another entity sets. The cardinality ratio, or, mapping cardinalities, is an important concept, that describes, the binary relationship set. In simple words, we can call this, relationship types, expressed, in terms of, maximum number of instances, of one entity set, that can be associated with, the maximum number of instances, of the other entity set, in a given relationship. Different types of, cardinality ratios, or, mapping of cardinalities, include, first, one-to-one -one relationship. Second, one-to-many relationship. Third, many-to-one relationship. Fourth, many-to-many -many relationship. Let me first explain, the, one-to-one, -one relationship. In one-to-one -one relationship, only one instance of the, entity set A, can be associated with, any one instance of the, entity set B, and, vice versa. For example, in a college, a department head, can head, only one department. Similarly, each department, can have, only one, department head. The next relationship type is, one-to-many, relationship. In one-to-many relationship, one instance of entity A, can be associated with, more than one instance of, entity B for example, an employee can work, only in one department. But, many employees can work, in one department. The next relationship type is, many-to-many, -many relationship. In many-to-many -many relationship, many instance of entity A, can be associated with, given instances of entity B similarly, many instance of entity B, can be associated with, given instances of, entity A for example, an employee can work on, more than one project. Likewise, many employees can work, on one project. Alright, at the end, the ER diagram, is a easy to use, graphical tool, used in database design process, to understand, the database structure, that brings us to the end of this video tutorial, and, in this tutorial, we have discussed in detail, what is Entity Relationship Diagram. We have also covered in detail, all the four important components of, ER model, which include, the concept of database entity, its attributes, what is relationship, and, the concept of cardinality ratios, or, the mapping of cardinalities. Please visit our website, learncomputersciencesonline.com, to learn, computer science online. If you have liked this video, then please give us a thumbs up, and, consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon with, another computer science video tutorial.